Matrix Legendary Encounters is a cool game. I'm going to give you an example of the gameplay without giving away too much. Tune in for that here on Legendary Tactics. So today we're going to give you a brief example of play of Legendary Encounters Matrix. So I've got everything set up here. I want to give you an example of the gameplay and I don't want to give away too much. So we're just going to play a few turns here just so you can get a feel for it. Now I am using the introductory uh, scenario uh, for Neo. So Thomas Anderson has to uh, return to the Matrix uh, at the end of the turn if we're not already there. And uh, as soon as Act 2 begins, we get the opportunity to become uh, Neo and start fighting for real. I'm also playing with Morpheus. It's a two-player game I'm representing here. And here's a quick look at the cards in the dock. These are ones that I can buy with recruit points. And over here we have the uh, extra cards as well as the act. Uh, the first act being that we need to show Neo what the Matrix is. So first up is the matrix phase. We're going to draw a matrix card and it goes into the rooftops. It isn't revealed until we scan it and the scan cost for that space is four. Neo has the highest rank here and so we'll draw the six cards for the starting hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is what we're working with. We have um, couple of uh, uh, there is no spoon cards which are used for attack we have uh, unplug um, hero so the way I like to simplify it is I've, I can do two damage and I can um, buy up to anything worth value for uh, or any combination of cards um, in this scenario the free your mind card stays out of play until um, we show Neo, Neo the uh, the matrix so um, so this is a pretty straightforward turn the only card uh, that I can attack is the the matrix card which is a scan four as I said so I've got four to spend in recruit points so that's what I'll be doing so in order to buy cards I'm gonna need to take Neo out of the matrix here um, via one of these telephone uh, booths and uh, bring him into the real world I'm gonna buy this card I think um, it is the Nebuchadnezzar crew. Um, it provides a recruit point and a damage. And um, if I play uh, another one of those uh, tech uh, symbols there, you can see it matching there, I can choose any number of players to each draw cards. So that might be a good combo card if I can pick up some of these other uh, tech cards here on either side. A little more expensive though, but uh, we'll see what we can do here. So we replace the card in the dock and uh, we get another tech card so that could be good for combos later and this one's much more affordable next if there was an enemy in the combat zone that enemy would strike now all these cards get dropped into the discard here so now because of this card here it says I need to return uh, Neo to the matrix uh, if I find myself in the real world and then finally we draw up six cards one two three four five six and this becomes our hand for next time looks like we've got uh, three and three so three damage and three recruit points to spend and now it's Morpheus's turn we move the matrix deck one space along this is now scan three so we can potentially uh, afford to scan uh, this space and see what's behind that card so we'll take the six cards off the deck here one two three four five six and we'll take a look and we have uh, looks like three and three so we've got three recruiting three recruiting points and three uh, attack points damage points here so um, this is gonna be again a pretty easy choice but I'm gonna need to plan out my move a little bit so Morpheus starts out the game in the real world. The avatar is on top of his uh, um, avatar card here. So 
At this point, we can buy cards because we're outside of the matrix. Now I have three recruiting points to spend, so it's pretty obvious I'm gonna pick up uh, one of these. And this offers a, a chance to, core, to match up the, uh, the symbols and to utilize the, the, benef the benefit, um, just like those tech cards from last time. And this one is uh, survival cards here. That's what that symbol means. And uh, this is actually kind of neat. You can, uh, as long as you play another card with that symbol, you may scan any space. And uh, if there are no face down cards in the matrix row, I can draw a card. So that's a, that's a handy one. I'm gonna take that one for sure. Now I'm gonna take those cards and discard them to pay for my purchase. And now um, that I've purchased my card, I want to go into the matrix. And so I'm gonna send uh, Morpheus there now so that we can use these uh, attack cards here. So I get my free trip into the matrix. Hello, Neil. And uh, now that I have uh, got that there, I'm going to spend these three cards to scan uh, to see what's behind that building. So while I discard these uh, these three cards here, I forgot to replenish the card in the card row, and we have another uh, operator tank card, which uh, coordinates pretty well with... Uh, with Neo and um, building up those tech cards, as matching tech cards. So now we take a look, and this is a police officer. An enemy human takes three damage in order to uh, remove this card. So hopefully uh, Mr. Anderson can take care of him next turn. And now the action phase is done. There are no enemy in the combat zone to strike us, so we skip the strike phase. And now we've discarded our cards and we pick up the next six. I will say that it is good to um, play your cards and leave them out. Don't drop them directly in the discard pile as I am here, uh, mainly because there are some times where there are symbols in play and that sort of thing that you need to reference to make sure that uh, um, you're, you've played out those cards. So you wanna do that and then sweep them up and drop them in the discard when you're done. Um, we'll take a look at our cards here. We've got uh, three recruiting points. We have two um, strike points there, two damage points, and we have this card, which is Free Your Mind, um, which resolves your avatar's ability for the current act. So let's take a look at what Morpheus is um, being in uh, in act, this, this act here. Um, so um, I can only show you the door, act one, you get plus one recruit point and draw a card. So that's what that would, um, allow me to uh, to do could be potentially great um, so I'll be looking forward to playing that and seeing what I can do um, with that ability next turn so it's mr. Anderson's turn now and uh, so we begin with the matrix phase we're going to move everything further along the matrix row and new card in play and now mr. Anderson being in the matrix has three attack to uh, perform and if we can zip out of the matrix a little bit then uh, we can buy another card with that of course we'll be sucked back into the matrix at the end and now the first thing I'll do is uh, I'm going to use the uh, the three damage cards that uh, I'd mentioned um, we're going to spend these to attack this police officer here and that removes uh, this card from the game These cards get placed on the defeated enemies space Now that is done Neo can use one of these free phones Notice that this one was covered up and was unusable until that uh, police officer was disposed of um, This is uh, would have been available as well. You can use this phone But it's going to cost you three recruit points to use this to get in and out of the uh, the matrix and only if there is the available room in the combat zone you can't use this phone if there are three or more enemy cards in the combat zone so we're going to take advantage of that now and exit the matrix so we can buy a card okay so we are going to spend uh, these three recruiting points and uh, we're going to focus on the tech stuff so we're going to buy this one because it has that symbol there we want to be build some combos in that also gives us two uh, recruit points 
And once this turn, you may move a player to the real world, which it could be also very handy. So we're going to take that one. We're going to replace this card with, oh boy, this is one of the expensive ones. Look at this. Three recruit points, three attack, and you can sacrifice, choose a player, and heal up to three strikes from them. They draw three cards. Costs eight recruit points to get it, and sacrifice means that you need to literally give up the card. Uh, it's a one-time use if you decide to uh, use that ability, um, and that could be a uh, game saver, but man, at uh, quite a cost. So now that I've got all my cards used up here, I've got my new my new deck. There's a, you know going to be a couple of new cards in here. We're going to shuffle them up, shuffle it up, and draw six cards. Um, we uh, again skip the uh, strike phase because there's no enemies in the combat zone. And uh, let's draw six cards and see what we got. So for next turn we have. Uh, some attack we got one of the new oh we got two of the new cards so we're going to be able to do uh, a combo here if we play this one first and use the, uh, the that ability then this symbol will trigger this ability to choose any number of players to each draw a card um, that is going to be pretty cool so that'll be very helpful uh, next turn it's now the turn of morpheus um, but we're going to do the matrix phase here first move these cards along we have no idea what's coming um, this one's scan three scan three scan four so hopefully we can uh, get the attack and up enough attack strength to uh, to do some scanning so morpheus finds himself in the matrix we've got three cards for three recruiting points we have two uh, attack points here which um, isn't enough to do a scan yet however we do have a free your mind card so we're going to play this one first and see what card we draw it might end up being valuable now if you recall the uh, avatar special ability is that uh, in act one which which is where we're at right now we get one uh, extra recruiting point and draw a card and we only have one card in our deck and it happens to be another recruiting point so um, as good as that is we can't uh, use the cards that we have um, to do any sort of attacking or anything there's only uh, two strength there so we can't take advantage of that so instead what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this opportunity to use the subway phone and exit the matrix and then we'll get out of there and we'll buy some cards now the interesting thing is we've got one two three four um, which is great and also with our because we use the free your mind we also have an extra recruit point so we have five to spend um, unfortunately uh, there's one that costs eight and two that costs six so I think there may be a bit of uh, uh, cards wasted or recruiting points wasted in, in this case now one of, one of the things we can do is to buy a hovercraft these are always available they cost three recruiting points and uh, they you know what let's let's buy one just to take a look at it so this um has a couple of, of things that number one it counts for two recruiting points when you when you get it it also counts as one of those symbols um, so that can be used to trigger some uh, game effects as we uh, discussed before and it also has the coordinate ability and the coordinate ability means that on someone else's turn you can play this card uh, to help them and you get to draw up a card to replace the, 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 the play of this. So if Neo uh, or Mr. Anderson at this point needs uh, recruiting points and this card is in hand, uh, Morpheus can actually donate these two recruiting points to, um, to Mr. Anderson to help maybe get them over the top with a purchase. So this can be a really handy buy and we're going to do that. We have two left over which we can't spend unfortunately so we're just going to have to let those uh, go to waste um, but that ends our turn and I forgot to put uh, Mr. Anderson back into the matrix I'm going to do that now um, Morpheus is on um, their cards that means they're in the real world and we have all their cards that are all discarded now shuffled up and six card fresh cards are drawn okay and whoops Sorry about that, buddy. 
um, we got the uh, the hovercraft, which is great. We've got otherwise a bunch of the basic cards here. Now the cards will get stronger, and you will uh, want to kind of minimize these basic cards. It's very uh, common in these type of games to kind of pare down your deck and improve your deck so that it works more more smoothly. And that's where you can uh, um, use some of the card's special abilities to make that happen. So that in a nutshell is how you play Legendary Encounters Matrix. This isn't meant to be an exhaustive uh, kind of explanation. I'm going to do a full game playthrough or two. I just didn't want to give away too much and give uh, too many spoilers, as a lot of this game is best discovered uh, as you progress through the story and uh, so forth. There are some other mechanics we didn't get to, like the combat zone and, and the various uh, sort of challenges and that sort of thing. Um, but we'll uh, save that for the full game playthrough. Hopefully you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.